<laughs> Cars making funny noises. Hey everyone, I just wanted to share with you why a dash cam is so important. Uh, you may have seen a short that I posted recently about emotional support animals are not service animals. And the reason it happened is because I showed up to pick someone up. I'm going to give you the whole story here, the whole long story. Um, it was going to be a long ride, good payout. I don't mind doing long rides, especially, you know, when I'm just operating in my free time. It was going to be a long ride. And I show up and I'm waiting for the customer to come down and... It gets to the point where it's saying, hey, you know, you're now being, um, you're not getting paid for wait time. Still not at the point where you can cancel it. And this is on Lyft, by the way. And the customer calls me quickly. I'm just gathering some stuff up. Uh, I'll, I'll, I'll be down as soon as possible. I'm like, fine, take your time. Uh, gets to the point, so I'm waiting, you know, and it gets to the point where, um, I could actually cancel the ride. And she immediately calls me again and says, Hey, I'm, I'm on my way down right now. I'm in the elevator. I'm on my way down. Okay. So I wait and I look and I see this person coming. Um, they got a cart full of stuff <laughs> and a little dog. Uh, she's got a little dog under her arm. And I'm like, here we go. We're going to have to go through this. And I roll down the window. She, she's headed to the back to start loading stuff in the back of the car. And I said, I'm sorry, I, I don't take pets in, in my vehicle. Well, it's an emotional support animal. And I said, well, emotional support animals don't fall under the Americans with Disability Acts. Uh, I'm not required to transport your pet. And uh, she starts going off, well, I got this letter from the FHA, which th that's a legit thing. Um, if you move, if you have an emotional support animal, the Federal Housing Authority says that you have to allow someone to rent uh, your a property if they have an emotional support animal. But it does not apply to the ADA, Title II, or Title III. Uh, they don't count. Uh, so I said, again, I said, I'm sorry, uh, I'm not going to take your pet. Uh, and she starts, you know, using profanity, calls me an incel. Uh, clearly, she didn't see that I was married. Um, <laughs> so I get down the road. Uh, so I cancel the ride, get down the road, get my $2 from Lyft, will be due, uh, for sitting there for 10 minutes. Um, that's another thing still. All right. And um, get down the road, and I file a, a complaint about the passenger, saying, look, uh, the passenger wanted to bring this emotional support animal. Emotional support animals are not covered under the ADA. I'm not required to take them. Uh, at that point, you know, she used profanity and, uh, and insulted me, blah, 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 put in the report. So we're driving along, and, and, and I'm doing my thing for the night, you know, making money. Uh, and I'm noticing yeah, rides aren't coming in from Lyft. Hmm, that's interesting. Uh, so I go to check Lyft and I see this message. So yeah, uh, ride, I, I, my account had been suspended. Okay. And I, I knew what was going on here. She made some kind of false report or said that, uh, she had a service animal or something like that. Oh, no. Oh, no. It was something far worse. She said I showed up intoxicated and sexually assaulted her. <laughs> and I was just like, oh, I can't deal with this today. Fortunately... I have a dash cam and I immediately start. I just, I stopped driving. I was driving on Uber. I immediately stopped driving. I stopped my dash cam and I went home. Uh, I didn't want to get any more footage on there that I would have to comb through to find. 
Uh, I eventually get a phone call from Lyft. And, and I said, oh, yeah, uh, I, I recall this situation perfectly. And I explained the situation to the person on Lyft. Um, and I said, I said, I know, I said, I've only done one ride on Lyft today. I, I know who it is. I, I know exactly what the situation is. Uh, so I, I said, look, I got dash cam footage. And of course, they won't say what ride it was. They they refused to let you know. They gave me a month long period uh, for dash cam footage. Oh, can you send a month's worth of footage? And I'm like, okay, whatever. Uh, which I didn't have. Uh, I you know I typically only save footage if something significant happened like this. And so I send them the footage. And the next thing I know, you know, uh, the next day, my account is reactivated. So I sent a follow-up email to Lyft, which I still haven't heard back from them on. And I said, I would like the transcript of the phone call. And what's going to happen to this passenger? Because what she did is a crime. Um, and... I would hope that she's not on the platform anymore. And I want a copy of the phone call with Lyft for my own records. I want to be able to keep that and have that in, in case anything ever comes up. I've got the email transcripts and, and everything, uh, but not the phone transcripts. So I got to follow up with that. But just a reminder, folks, you need to have a dash cam. And one of the things that I would actually recommend that you do, I don't do this all the time. I try to remember do it all the to do it all the time, is when I'm pulling up to pick up the person, I say the person's name that I'm picking up, and then I hit the little button on there to mark and save that clip. And then after I drop them off, I hit the little button to drop them off. Because if anything's going to happen, it's that they claim is going to happen. It's going to happen when they get in the car or when they're leaving the vehicle. Um, and then I have kind of like those two time codes where I can look at, at any footage in between. Um, again, I don't typically save all of my dash cam footage. I only save something of significance that happens. And maybe I'll, I'll, change that. Maybe I'll switch to one of these dash cams and pay for a service. Although I don't know if it's worth it for me because I'm not driving full time. Pay for one of these services where everything just gets uploaded to the cloud and then I don't have to worry about it. But get a dash cam, folks. Um, be aware of every situation. If you have a situation with a, with a passenger that there is the slightest bit of disagreement make sure you have that footage captured so you can demonstrate that you were being kind, you were being professional, and that you were not, in fact, intoxicated when you drove up. All right, that's it for me today. Have you ever run into a situation like this? Uh, I know that a lot of people, they have been deactivated and then they're screwed after that. They, they, they're done. There's nothing else that they can do. I'm very fortunate that this ended up uh, favorably for me. And I hope that this never happens to any of you. All right. Until next time. Like I said, let me know. Hit me up in the comments below whether or not this has happened to you. Um, I'm not going to show any of that footage because uh, I don't want to be that person. I was thinking about including some of it in here. Maybe, I'll, maybe there's some B-roll back there. We'll see. Um, until next time, uh, thanks for watching and, uh, know your rights, uh, know, keep an eye on what's going on around you. Stay safe. Please stay safe. People, if, if you get that feeling in your gut, like, ah, this doesn't feel right. Just go, just go. I, like I was as close to just driving off when I saw her pull up. I was just going to drive off. Um, but anyway. So, talk to y'all later, all right? Bye.